Hi everybody, so a lot of you have asked about the map I put together a few years ago uh, that showed where all the family members lived around Dutchtown and it was pretty hard to see and hard to figure out who lived where at a different time period. So uh, rather than try and fix that, I decided to create a whole new format and I did it online on a Google map so I can continue to update it and add to it and hopefully this will be a lot easier for people to use. So I'm gonna send out the link and if you just click on that link, you'll uh, be able to see something like this and first thing you'll want to do is zoom in a little bit so the this little uh, plus sign down here in the bottom left if you'll click on that a couple of times you'll be able to see the street names and the individual house icons here so each of these house icons is where a dutch family uh, lived and a lot of these of course were our relatives so um, i've also over here on the left there is a directory if you see just the first four here under on this menu if you click on the 105 more we'll pull up the full list of all the addresses that are included here. Um, I also included a few of the, the landmarks like the, the 19th Ward, Pingree School, um, Dutch Hollow area out here on the left. This is something a lot of people have asked about where that was. So roughly between 31st and 33rd streets on the west side of the Weber River is where that was. Ironically, I found a few actual listings of Dutch Hollow as people's address in some of the city directory. So I included a couple of those here. If you click on this, you see the little tent here, the tent icon where they were camping out there. Um, but the, what the directory would show for a few of these folks was west side of Weber River near 31st Street, and that was their listed address. So we know a lot of Dutch people lived out here. I mean, hundreds of them were living in the area for a period of maybe 15 years, 20 years. But um, I haven't found a lot of uh, official listings in the city directory since most of them happened before there were a lot of directories published. But anyway, something interesting to look at. And if you know about examples of your relatives that uh, lived out there, uh, please send them along and I can add that to that if you've got some documentation on that. But how this works is uh, once you look at the map here, uh, let's just go into Stevens Avenue, which was the heart of Dutchtown, right here between 32nd and 33rd. It was where so many of the Dutch families lived. Uh, if we click on one of these little houses, uh, pulls this one up over here on the left, you can see 3264 Stevens. Um, the Kammeyers lived here at the time of the 1900 census, and then George and Rensky Buckaway lived there for a couple years. And then about a decade later, George's brother Tom and his wife Cora to here also lived in the same house. And you'll find this pattern true in almost all of these houses that multiple Dutch families lived in the same houses um, over the early decades of the 20th century. And I think that was likely because these are probably rental houses and maybe somebody in the Dutch community owned them or people were renting to other members of the community. But anyway, it's fascinating to see how concentrated it was. And I don't think this is an exhaustive list. I think there are probably a lot more that I haven't been able to track down details on yet. But you can see really heavy concentrations of Dutch families here on Stevens Avenue. Also Pingree Avenue over on the west side of Pingree, just about every single house was a Dutch family. Um, same thing was true on these little short streets off 31st. So uh, Reeves, which was called Euclid in the early years until 1920, and then uh, Union Avenue as well. But really, if you, you pull back here, you can see all the way from 28th Street down to 33rd Street within a few blocks of Wall Avenue was really heavy concentrations of Dutch families. So I hope you find this interesting. It might be fun for you just to go through and click on the different houses. Uh, a lot of these houses are still standing. You can go into Google Maps and actually see the same layout and see which house is which. I think I've lined them up all correctly, but it's, it's sometimes a little off on the map versus the numbering. And some of the numbering was a little messy too. There were times where they numbered houses out of order here on Stevens where it goes from a higher number to a lower number and, and sometimes they renumbered houses. So you'll see a few confusing things there. But um, Again, hopefully this is useful. One other thing that's worth noting here, why I included this area here, this was the George Buckway farm. So you had one area in Dutchtown where there were really no houses, and this was the area where George was farming. So uh, that's why you didn't see any houses there for a long time. And he started, of course, a really successful produce business. I also show the Bamberger line, which was kind of the way uh, people kind of got in and out of Ogden, heading elsewhere over those years. And a lot of stories about people going on the bridge of the Bamberger over the river and doing different things. So. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this. Let me know if you have questions or suggestions. I would be happy to make updates. Thanks.